Have you ever felt as though the object of your desire, whether it be a specific person or item, a goal or something else, was just out of your reach? Our ideas and feelings may be able to bring about our desires, according to the manifestation theory. Neville Goddard, a spiritual teacher and philosopher, claims that the key to manifesting is to focus less on the real thing you want and more on the sense of already having it. This idea is based on the premise that our thoughts and feelings have a significant impact on how the world is shaped. When we focus on the experience of already having it, we give the universe a strong message that we are ready to receive what we want. The universe responds by making our wish come true. It is not a one-time event. Manifestation is a process that involves time and attention. By taking a few simple steps and focusing on the experience of already having what you want, you can manifest anything as quickly as possible. Here is a step-by-step -step process for doing so based on Neville Goddard's teachings. In the initial phase, decide on your manifestation. The initial step in the manifesting process is picking one particular thing you want to attract into your life. It could be a particular person, thing, or goal. It is imperative to be specific and clear about what you want to create since doing so will allow you to focus your imagery and direct your energy when choosing your manifestation. Verify that it aligns with your beliefs and goals and that it is something you actually want. It's important to be honest with yourself about your true desires. Instead of just accepting what you think you should want or what society teaches you should want, it can also be helpful to visualize your manifestation as specifically as you can. If you are imagining a certain goal, for instance, consider what it may be like to achieve it. That which would you do? Who would you be with? And how would you feel? If someone is emerging from you, Think about the advantages and disadvantages of working with them. How would you address a person? How would you respond, guys? You will be able to concentrate your imagery and energies more successfully if you are specific, clear, and as detailed as possible regarding your manifestation. And what would you think of one another? This will strengthen your manifestation and hasten the process of making it a reality. Stage 2 Set aside some time to visualize. The next step in generating anything is to set aside some quiet time each day to focus on your manifestation. When you can find some peace and quiet, you could do this right away in the morning before going to bed. It's important to pick a time that's convenient for you, to sit or stand in a relaxed, comfortable position, and to make sure that you won't be disturbed during this time. You may give your manifestation the time and space it needs to succeed by blocking off time for visualization. You are communicating to your subconscious mind by this action how much you value this manifestation and how committed you are to make it a reality in your life. It could be helpful to establish a relaxing atmosphere during this time. Put some relaxing music on, burn a candle, or do anything else that helps you feel calm and at ease. When you visualize, the more successful it will be the more relaxed and focused you are. It's critical to keep your visualization practices consistent. Try to concentrate on your manifestation every day at the same time. Your resolve will be strengthened, and the power of your manifestation will increase. The third step is to relax and take a deep breath. Before beginning your visualization technique, it's important to relax and clear your thoughts. This will help you release any negative thoughts or distractions so that you may unwind and clear your mind while focusing on your manifestation. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and as you exhale, visualize yourself breathing in calm and quiet. Think about relaxing any tension or stress. You can also try using a relaxation method like progressive muscle relaxation or guided meditation to aid in your relaxation and mental clarity. By tensing and relaxing different muscle areas in your body, or by listening to a narrated meditation. You can use these techniques to release stress and attain a state of relaxation. If you relax and clear your mind before beginning your workout, you will be better able to focus and interact with your visualization. This will increase the force and power of your manifestation. In step four, visualize your manifestation. Remember that whatever you want to bring into your life already exists. Consider how it would seem sound, smell, 
and taste if you were in possession of it. Use all of your senses in this visualization. If you can visualize your manifestation in great detail, it will be more powerful. Focus on the experience of obtaining your manifestation in the fifth phase. As you imagine, concentrate on the experience of already having what you want. Consider how appreciative and glad you are for this item, as well as how much you are enjoying it right now. This is essential for manifesting anything because you will attract what you want if you imagine that you already have it. The sixth step is to practice everyday visualization. The next step in manifesting anything is to perform daily visualization exercises. Making time each day to focus on your manifestation and visualize it as precisely as you can is required for this. As you practice, try to focus on the experience of already possessing what you want rather than on the actual object itself. The more you can focus on the feeling, the stronger your manifestation will be. It is suggested that you practice visualization for at least 10 to 15 minutes each day. Even while it can seem like a short time, if done frequently, it might be very effective. Focusing and giving your visualization your whole attention are the keys to success. As you practice visualization, closing your eyes and taking a few deep breaths may help you unwind and focus. Then imagine yourself already possessing what you want to manifest in your life. As much as possible, engage all of your senses in this visualization. Consider the appearance, the feel, and your feelings after reaching the objective. For example, if you are manifesting one, think about what a relationship with the person you are manifesting would be like. How would you address a person? How would you respond, guys? How would you perceive one another? By doing daily visualization exercises and focusing on the experience of already having what you want, you may give the world a loud and clear signal that you are ready to receive your manifestation. Take synchronized action in step seven. In addition to visualizing, taking action in the direction of your manifestation might be helpful. If you are manifesting an objective, for instance, take modest steps toward it every day. Make contact with the person you are manifesting or do something to engage their energy. By taking action, you'll feel in charge, make progress, and go a step closer to achieving your dreams. Step 8. Delete your doubts and worries. Let go of any fears or apprehensions that may appear during the manifestation process. Believe that your wishes will be fulfilled by the universe at the right moment and in the right way. Remember that manifestation is a process and may not happen right away. Be patient, focus on the here and now, and have faith that the universe will assist you in achieving your goals. By completing these steps and focusing on the thought that you have already attained your goals, you can manifest anything as quickly as you can, according to Neville Goddard. Remember to be patient, focus on your thoughts and imagination, and have faith in the universe to grant your wishes. Enjoy